and welcome to IndyCar at Watkins Glen. I have never done a road race in the IndyCar before. So, uh, I saw they had a road race going on in IndyCar at Watkins Glen. I figured this is probably my best opportunity to give it a first try. Because uh, Watkins Glen is probably the road course I'm most, con most familiar with. Go figure as a uh, as a oh, an oval racer. Hold on, I want to get my transparent screen up. If they're gonna give that as an option, I'm going to sir. I'm gonna click it, and also I had put my brake pressure bias back a little bit during practice. I don't know if that did anything or not, but uh, I want to be consistent. Hopefully, we have enough time to do both laps at this point. But uh, very very low participation. Everybody here is everybody that signed up, and I think there's like 10 people. So, uh, goal here is just to survive to the end. Learn something about this car. What works. On road. Still pretty, uh, new to it in general, so... want to make it to the end and not crash. That's pretty much it. Not sure. I have no idea how my lap times are holding up compared to other people because there was basically nobody in the uh, practice session I was in. Ooh, overdrove that pretty bad. It's alright. <clears throat> I probably look pretty amateurish, but that's because I am not expecting too much from this, but... Uh, hopefully it's going to be pretty fun. I always love driving Watkins Glen in any car, so why not IndyCar? There you go. <laughs> I'm fully expecting uh, my lap times to be several seconds off. I, that's just a guess. I don't have any point of reference, but... That's my assumption. Ooh, a little unsettled there. We're fine, though. Three tenths off my best so far, which is still not even very good. <laughs> Pretty fun to drive, though. Love uh, how much grip it's got. It's pretty crazy going around these corners. Such high speed. Overdrove that. Drove that. Seeing a pattern here. So not a great lap there, but at least we got one done. I would have started in the back, but I was the number one car, so with the people that are not going to even do a lap, I'm going to be in the middle then. So my only other hope is maybe I can start in the front. Haha, <laughs> funny, funny. About two seconds off. <laughs> so that is not seeming likely at this point. Imagine I could probably be more aggressive with this thing, but uh, I don't want to crash myself, so... That's alright. Like I said, the goal is just to finish to the end. Ooh. Did an accidental shift there that I didn't want to do, for real. And it got loose. Thank you. 
Make sure I'm doing late turn ins. Get the better runs off. Uh, that was a little bit better of a lap, but not so much better. Where are we going to end up now? Still P3. About a second. 1.3 seconds off the fast guy. Fastest guy. About five seconds faster than the guy behind, though, so we got a wide range of, uh, of talent level in here, I imagine. He thinks not that bad, though. Pretty close on speed to this uh, 9. Sting. And so long as I uh, don't wreck it, though, I think it should be a pretty good time. I feel like I'm probably going to get faster as the thing goes on because uh, I know I've got a lot more speed to gain. I keep overdriving this one. I keep missing my mark for whatever reason. Shouldn't be that hard, but... Oh, and this one too. This whole section is probably my biggest weakness right now. Just having trouble getting it right. You can take this really aggressive, but uh, pretty scary too. I mean, the whole thing's scary. Make one mistake in this car, and you know you're uh, done for. Very fragile vehicle, so let's not test the limits too much. Time we got out here is nine seconds, so we're not gonna finish this lap, but uh, we'll get the chicane one more time. A little bit much there. That's the end of the session. All right, P4. P4 is where we ended up. All right, interesting. That's what we got here. All right, hopefully, we get some space at the start. Hopefully, we got guys being patient. Heads up, guys. I'm going. Going. If I'm not already in the back, I'm going straight to the back. Uh, just to ride around. So I'll give you everything you need to get by me. Okay, riding around the back. Can I have your engine? <laughs> so I imagine this is going to be uh, pacing. Yeah, there we got the pace car up there. So, like I said, never done this before, so kind of learning on the fly some things. Got my favorite advertisement up here. Glass, wow. <laughs> New glass, wow. Funny. Man, that uh, spotter stand looks like it needs a little bit of TLC. It's got like, I can't tell if that's like moldy rust, mold or rust, or like <laughs> algae growing on it. That's funny. This is the new upgraded uh, Watkins Glen, the one they rescanned, and um, owners of Watkins Glen got the new rescan for free, which is great because uh, it was pretty aged before they did that. So it's, now it's looking good and looking modern, um, or at least realistic. Spotter stands are not looking modern; <laughs> it's looking mossy. My only hope is we do not get run into. I will be very patient around guys. I hope they will give me the same courtesy. I've like, never seen one of these races, I don't think. Actually, you know what? I think I've seen Nick do... Well, I watched him do the uh, IndyCar uh, iRacing series. At Sebring recently, and I think he did a Daytona road course race in the IndyCar a while back as well. I want to say that's about all I've seen. I never uh, raced it, so first time here on the new track. Sorry, ahead of time. Great, lots of new people apparently. I am not the only one, but for him, it's just on this new Watkins Glen. The other guy said he's right around the back. I, I assume that means he probably doesn't have very much experience either. 
There could be lots of uh, explosions in our future. Hopefully none involving us. It's like a first gear start. Actually, uh, put my horse feedback pretty far down because uh, horse feedback kept wanting to fight me when I was trying to turn the wheel, and I just I want to be able to get the turn in. And I still got enough in there that I can kind of feel it if it starts getting a little light. You know, I can take it a little easier if I need to. Get tear ups in this thing? I don't think so. Not uh, available in the car anyway. Glad this guy reminded me I don't have to take the chicane. A slap. A little worried about getting hit from behind into turn one. Hopefully that will not happen. There will be plenty of headroom ahead of me, so I don't do it to someone else either. That someone else, I guess, would be the two car up here. Pretty excited, though. It was very fun to race and, uh, or fun to drive and uh, practice. I was enjoying myself. Nice long race here. 29 laps. A decently long, anyway. We haven't got that data. I haven't got that data on fuel, but it will. it does look like we will need to pit based on this information. So we'll just uh, hop in around lap 14, 15-ish. It's about halfway is all, it's, all we're going to need to do. And uh, we're going to be watching this car on the right side. He is the leader. I have to remember that. So we head in a clockwise direction around this course. Whew, I'm nervous. Heart's pounding. But I, like I said, I feel like this is the best way to get uh, get my feet wet with road racing in the IndyCar at a track I'm very familiar with. So let's uh, see what happens. Green flag, green flag. I didn't really go on the green. Right side. Taking it very easy. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Turn one. I have to remember, we're going to get... Uh, Gonna be fast here heading into the different corners as well. Gonna have to break earlier than I think. Starts okay. Let's get settled in. And uh, arrow push is a big thing even on road courses in these indie cars, so I have to think about that as well. Almost a second behind us already. very light here so I gotta be careful on the gas. Made it. Hit my breaking point here for once. And here. It's light there as well. So careful. Get that a little shallow and we're fine. I took that a bit weird, but still fine. <laughs> All right, we made it a lap. Could have been worse. And I have this guy uh, coming up on us behind, I believe. He's going to be in our draft. Watch out for him. He's going to make an attempt at us.
That's it. All right. These three guys ahead of us are definitely faster. They probably got plenty more experience than we do. I know for sure I'm going soft into a lot of these corners. That's the way it is whenever you're new to something. Better to underdrive than overdrive. The leader's just done a 129.8. That's pretty decent. This guy's gonna be right on our tail. Saw him approach us pretty quick for a second in the rear view. Trying not to pay attention too much to him because I'll make mistakes, but it did make me nervous for a moment. I didn't hit the brakes hard enough there. I got my braking point right, but I didn't hit the brakes solid enough. Hmm. And overdrive that too. That whole section, that's my downfall, man. Alright, gotta try to hit a better lap than that going forward. It's about a second off that last lap, so I want to do better than that. I want to at least be uh, somewhat consistently around my best, because even my best isn't too great, so I can set that goal for myself. They're pretty good that time. Alright, getting into more of a rhythm. It's feeling better now. And I got lots of space, and that's really helping out. Mm, I think I need to shift down an extra time there. I think I messed that up. Ooh, loose on exit. We're good, though. Alright, if they start fighting up there... Maybe we can make up some time, not sure. You've just done a 130.8. Sector 2 is 0.4 off the pace. Probably not, though. I think we're gonna need them to crash ahead of us if we want a chance at any more spots. Not that I'm rooting for it, if I finish fourth and finish the race, I will be more than happy with uh, this learning experience. Alright, Colton, our fuel window opens on lap 30. It will end on lap 16. That's good to know. Fuel window. Like 13 to 16, he said. This might be a dumb question, but I don't... What does it mean when a hit window closes? I guess that means I would run out of fuel. Assume that's what that means, overdrove that. <laughs> like I said, a bit of a common theme here, this overdriving. We're catching them, all of a sudden. 
might be a case where uh, because I'm accidentally kind of slow, maybe my tires will be happier. Not sure how big a deal that is, but I know it does exist. Tire wear. That's the fastest lap. Your lap time was 130.8. Fastest lap yet. Feeling good. I just feel like I'm getting faster and more comfortable with every lap. Having lots of fun though. This is a great, fun drive. Good there. Here. Ooh, careful. Don't get into the grass. I imagine that'll just instantly kill me. Tires get in there, you know that they're gonna be uh, sliding. They overdrove the exit there. Mid to exit. So we drove it. No oh, light right there, you gotta be so careful. Throttle. Two point one seconds ahead. It's fun having someone to chase. Got plenty of room behind us. It's good. That guy was hounding us for the first couple of laps. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. For too long, we'll have uh, more of the draft ahead of us. She's being a little bit uh, paranoid about the water temp again. Ooh, got a look on it a little bit too soon there and got tight on exit. Uh, I'm not concerned about the temp. It was going in and out of the danger zone for the crew chief for their practice, so don't think it's going to be a problem. These two guys fighting up here might be slowing each other down. Pit entry will be uh, somewhat concerning because pit speed is very low, so you're gonna—I'll have to make sure that I'm slowed down enough once I get there. Yeah, see, the engine tips are back to okay, and it'll probably go high again, and it'll get all paranoid. I'm just gonna have to ignore him. A little bit too much curve there, but we're okay. Wide here. Corner. You got a slow car on the right. Uh oh. Where is he? Car stops on the right. Okay, he's a lap car. Isn't that the guy that said he was taking it easy? I could be thinking of someone else. He's gonna be taking it even easier back uh, in his race trailer. <laughs> I'm assuming Indy car drivers have race trailers as well. Gotta get here somehow. Somehow, right? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a... What am I doing? I forgot where I was on the track for a second. Uh, I assume they have all that stuff. I don't think I've ever watched a live indie car race from beginning to end, which I should fix that. That lap was a 131.3. Good consistency. Keep them coming. The car behind's pitting now. Yep. Yeah. Is that what that is? Unless they were, that was that lap 
car that uh, crashed. Leader's gone, by the way. <laughs> They're gonna win this thing unless they wreck. I missed my mark pretty bad there. That was dangerous. Okay, I gotta be careful. Lots of time. Be consistent. Ooh, got loose. <laughs> Tried to use a little more to the track there, but I don't think that was a good idea. I don't think it did anything good for us. Really ought to be careful around these, uh, whew, around these curbs. Just waiting to hit one just wrong. They get through turn one much faster than me, it looks like. All right, Colton, the gap went from 1.9 to 2.2, I think. Went through there. Ooh, get that tire out of the grass, you crazy man. I said, referring to myself. <laughs> He's on the edge there. Pretty darn close to these guys. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to learn how to make a pass then if I do catch him. That was a one thirty point eight. Oh, he crashed. We got a crash. That was P two. Mm hmm okay. Suddenly, we might be looking at podium. Because uh, that was definitely a broken vehicle as well. Not sure you can walk that one off. You're reeling, Morris. In. The gap is now 1.3 seconds. Catch this guy. Gonna have that bit of draft anymore. Of course, he won't have the guy slowing him down either. Not sure what, if uh, having the draft helped him more than uh, more than being stuck behind a guy is hurting him. Not sure what the case would be. That'll be an all-time best. You're now in That's the fastest lap. Oh no. Whew, okay, we're good. Glad he didn't try to floor it in front of me. Does still look like I'm getting through turn one pretty slow.
Oh well, yeah, we got a pit here soon. That's not another thing we gotta be thinking about. Wait, yet. Getting close. Guy's picked up the speed. We're no longer uh, catching him, so he might have been being held up up there. I think I'm just gonna take this as far as it'll let me, or somewhere there, because I don't feel like the tires are hurting me. I think the front has just done a 130.2. Okay, Colton, you got about four laps of fuel left. I think having less fuel is just making me faster, to be honest. So I'm just gonna take it to the end of fuel run, I think. Oh, a little wide there, we're okay. Got sideways. That probably doesn't look as scary as it feels, but my wheel starts getting a little lighter and uh, car starts turning more than I'm turning the wheel, and that's a real scary feeling. Mm. Yeah, the guy ahead's definitely faster than we are. Window open. So I've been told. Morris, ahead is increasing. It's now 2.9 seconds. That's a new fastest lap for Morris. 129.7. You've got about three laps of fuel left. All right, Colton. Lap times are pretty consistent. Still have a great time though. This is very fun to drive. Watkins Glen is such a great track. Serves to be better to get on the uh, or stay on the brakes a little bit longer to help the car keep turning. Kind of learning that as I go along. Your water temperature is creeping up. I'm going to go ahead and do all-time optimal. Give me a better idea of uh, how I'm best getting through the corners. Only two laps of fuel left. That's your fastest lap. Ooh. That was my fastest lap, that last lap. So I'm definitely just going to take this uh, to uh, as far as I can go on the fuel run. Two laps of fuel. The lead is pitting now. If it's pitting now. Morris, ahead is pitting. 
Gonna take it in uh, next lap. Fourteen point okay, five. Okay, you're in second. Okay, Colton, keep doing what you're doing. This is spot on. You're in the lead. That's half distance. We estimate one laps of fuel left. That was a one thirty point five. Your engine temperatures are looking better now. Fourteen point seven gallons. Easily mess this up, this pit. I have not done uh, too many green flag stops in an Indy car, much less on a road course, so it could be uh, an adventure. The guy behind is now 90 seconds. You have about one lap of fuel left. Done. Don't forget to pit this lap for more fuel. The pit lane speed limit is all right. Miles per hour. Probably pretty okay. slow, so but that's all right. Tires, fuel. 15.5 gallons. It says we need 15.5. I trust it. Okay, you are the leader. Four, three, two, one. Box now. <laughs> Pretty slow, but that's okay. We're done. Get going. You only have one tire yet remaining. We're actually out ahead. P2. Stay. Not for long in a link. Tires not crippled quite as well. Remember that. Remember how this works. So apparently, we did good. Pit stop wise. So, we overtook the second place guy. Just gotta not let that pressure get to me. Okay, Colton, your water temperature's creeping up. Oh, all right. P2. Will we be able to keep him behind us now? Wonder what happened. I wonder if he overshot his pit, or maybe I just entered faster? Maybe staying out an extra lap was beneficial for us? No idea. Lighter on fuel. We didn't take as much and it helped us get out faster. Still 13 ahead. 13 seconds ahead to the guy in front, so we're not going to win unless it crashes. Which doesn't seem likely. A 
the time of optimal. Nice. Definitely feel like I'm getting better. Good on um, fuel, right? You got plenty of fuel. Fuel? Alright, good to hear. Making sure everything worked as intended. Uh, staying on the brakes a little oh a little bit longer has been helping out getting loose out of the corner has not been helping out though that was a genuine gasp I had to do a little bit of saving there that got sideways it's looking a little high. oh whatever about water temps you and your water temps spotter Alright, I'm feeling more comfortable and I'm able to push a little bit more than I was uh, feeling okay with earlier in the race. I'm a little wide there, almost got an X. I think I'm 0X at this point, aren't I? Could be wrong. Leader still is faster, I believe. Despite uh, picking up the pace a bit. Aggressive through there, but on to it. Man, this is fun. <laughs> Careful on the throttle there. Cut it a little shallow. Okay. 13.3 to the leader ahead. We'll keep an eye on that just for fun. Sector 1 is 0.4 off the pace. You were 10th off the pace in Sector 2. Sector 3 times okay. Your engine temperatures are now back to normal. Thank you, Spotter. Engine temps are back to normal. Didn't have to worry about it, now did you? Take a chill pill, my friend. Behind's catching just a little bit. Okay, Colton, we want to watch your water temperature. It's looking oh a little high. Oh my gosh, this water. A wide on exit there. That was wasn't great. So the leader's pulling away from us, 13.6. So they're uh, definitely going to win this one if they uh, don't mess up. Mm -mm -mm. Surprised I didn't get an off track there. Also glad I didn't wreck. Do not fly too close to the sun. <laughs> Burn myself. Trying to hit these uh, faster laps. 
Might be getting too confident, too cocky. We'll light on exit again there. Keep that a little tight here. Lap times are pretty consistent. That last lap was at 130.4. Okay, Colton, your engine temperatures are okay. All clear on engine temperatures. Seven behind us. He could just be biding his time, waiting for a chance. Waiting for the draft to bring him up to us later in the race or something. Good there, that was bad bus stop. Not a great sequence there. I do think it really helps having the optimal up. My speed's a little bit better. Ooh, got loose. I would drove that again. I really need to watch watch that corner better. Alright, he's pretty close up on us. You've just done a 130.3. Sector 2 is 0.4 off the pace. He's only 0.4 back there. I think he's biding his time. Do the bus stop again. Time to get defensive, mate. You're making me work, that's for sure. Oh no! Right side, cut one. Clear, keep it tidy. Please, Colter. Sorry for getting in your way there, for. Mistake. Got the grass. Alright. Pull it back together. Still got racing to do. All that was is it got a little tight. Didn't make the exit and got in the grass. And uh, I had to keep it very steady or else I was going to spin out. Your engine temperatures are okay. All clear from engine temperatures. P3. Okay, this is working. I'm going to try and see if we'll catch him, but then I'd have to pass him. <laughs> Got to know how to do that too, but uh, he's a good 1.8 seconds ahead now after my blunder. Right, we'll see if we can catch up again. Oh my 
gosh. It's the second time I've had trouble in that corner. Two laps. I was lucky to catch that one. <laughs> We've got so much room behind us because everyone else is probably wrecked at some point, I guess. I could play it safe and just accept the podium, but uh, what's the fun in that? We're still going to try for this uh, P2. As unlikely as it may be. Your lap time was at 130.8. Slow down too much for that one. I'm definitely not gonna catch him if I'm not uh, being smooth. Road racing fatigue's getting to me. These long races. 26 laps in. Honestly, I think I was driving over my head most of this race. I think the other guy's probably more skilled with this. In front is now I was just uh, giving it 110% until it uh, blew up on me there. Got by me. Yeah, I swear the car's just not turning in this corner anymore. Gosh, what am I doing? It's the fatigue! It's the fatigue! It's getting me! Not that was a 130.5. Looks like he's still much faster through turn one. Must be something I'm doing wrong there. I do feel like I slow down too early. That was about the best I ever got through the bus stop. up there. I shifted into fourth and then got all kinds of weird. Threw me out of sequence. It's such a feel that you have when you get out of sequence you start getting a little weird. It's too bad that was a good lap up until that point too. Two to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. Hey that sounds pretty good though being on the podium. Even as number one, first ever Indy Road Race. Oh, hands are a bit cramped. Curve there. Feels good to know that I'm definitely, I've definitely improved as this has gone on, though. I can just feel that I've got a better understanding of how this works. And I mean, you can see the lap times that are improving. Still making plenty of mistakes, but. Stay smooth. Pretty happy with my pace for what it is. Oh, 
Also, heading into the last lap here. Still no incidents, right? Oh, we had one incident? What was that? How did I get that? One more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. Oh, I must have gone wide at one point and didn't... Oh, obviously. <laughs> Duh. It was when I went in the grass. Okay, so one incident. It was the one mistake I made. I'll take that for sure. 29 laps here. One mistake. One major mistake, anyway. So, uh, just gonna make sure I bring it home now. We've been losing time to the guy ahead. Just a little smoother. So we'll take our podium and uh, be happy with it. The captain, Morris, ahead is increasing. It's now 4.8 seconds. Had a good pit stop, too. Helped us catch up with the guy. Man, I wonder if that's a tire thing that's making me not turn. I felt like I took that really soft that time. You've got about two laps of fuel. Three's probably gone already. <laughs> After winning 20 minutes ago. Good race, guys. Good win. Nice one. Chicken flag, chicken flag. <laughs> good job. Very good job. You smoked us three. <laughs> and yeah, good racing with you, Michael. All right. <clears throat> that was fun. That was really fun. <laughs> so we got P3 out of 12. We were the number one, but uh, first try here. So very, very happy with that. Oh, they have different tires. Could I have chosen... Also, that compound has higher grip and degradation. Alright. I could have changed tires? Tire types? What do you know? I wonder if I would have been faster. The 2 and the 12 were on alternates at the end. It didn't really do much for them, did it? I don't know. Interesting. I wonder if these guys started on the alternates or something? I don't know anything about that, really. That's interesting. I'll have to look into that. But uh, B3, we'll uh, go see what happened out here. Get my fastest, 129.9 on lap 18. In fact, that's the only time I've ever hit a 129, looks like. And I guess it's not taking it because of draft as my overall best. That's fine. Huh. Nice. Let's uh, get a view. Lap one. Lap one issues. Oh. Oh. Two got on the brakes a little hard. Lost control. Getting into the first corner. I kind of want to look at the first corner on my uh, on my end. See if I took it way too conservative or see how it looked. Do it. <laughs> that guy. I was, I was fine. I think I'm fine. This guy backed off for us. I think that was nice of him. So we weren't going too wide through there on the first lap. Number 11. Ooh, it's real loose there. I'm telling you. Very easy to do. And even there's that tiny hit that, that killed him. Both his left sides are broken. Uh, these cars have real bull in a China China shop uh, energy. Ooh, went wide there and then tried to make up for it by uh, gassing it up, but you just can't do that, especially at that part of the track. It'll get uh, it'll get out from under you. Wide there, much too fast going through there and killed it. This is the second place guy. Ooh, that could have been. That could have killed him right there. 
I think this guy eventually does wreck though, doesn't he? Yeah. Forgot that we had uh, three people in front of us at one point. So yeah, he didn't have to make it too much farther, I don't think. But there it was, he got too upset. Ooh, by the curb. And that did him in. That's all it takes. So I'm glad I was able to avoid it. Avoid doing it myself. Yeah, you're not making it around the whole track in that state, unfortunately. Loose part of the track. But for him, it was tight. Got on the wall. Tricky. This guy's taking a lot of corners very wide. Because that loose part. Be very gentle. Egg under the throttle. And then he backs into the wall and probably damaged it when he didn't need to. So a lot of issues, unfortunately. Was this the guy? I'm trying to remember if this is the guy that was saying uh, he was just going to ride around in the back. Yeah, I believe it was. It's too bad. He's learning, too. Lots of learning going on in here. That one guy said, first time at this track. It's my first time on a road course in Indy. That guy, I assume, was learning. It's a learning going on. Oof. That's that's what I avoided. That's exactly what I avoided whenever I did that. So, uh, both had the same problem. We got tight and ended up in the grass. He ended up in the grass a little sooner than I did. So this was a little bit different. But uh, if we if we start like right here, about closer to what we both uh, experienced. You gotta just not get on the gas hardly at all, or else it's gonna spin you to the inside like what happens to him here. So I had just to like ride in the grass for for a second and keep it straight. You know what you saw? I will probably see it in a second. Just going straight for a minute. That's what helped me uh, prevent uh, anything worse from happening. <laughs> My pit crew, ready for me. Always ready. We don't pay them enough. Here's another example. He was on his alternates. You get in that grass. Just can't be on the gas right here. I don't know. Maybe he, maybe that was a little harder to say. I was kind of mostly straight whenever I did it. But yeah, he was kind of just out of control. I want to see what mine looked like. I'm sure we'll get there soon enough. We will not, actually, because this is the guy celebrating. It's when... So, uh, we did not get a view of it. This guy, uh, trying to finish his final lap and couldn't get it done. That sucks. Lots of celebrating going on for the three. It's funny. Right, I do want to go back and, uh, see my little problem I had. Hmm. Third at this point. There it is. Okay, so I get tight, it's not turning, and I get up in the grass. So I know at this point I cannot hit the gas at all. Or right, when I do, very, very little. See there? To get very light on the grass, I need to just let them on by. Because if I try to uh, hit the gas any more than I do, it's going to shoot me sideways like those other guys. So I just have to ride it out for a second, get my composure, and then get back on the track. Thankfully that just gave me a 1x, saved me from uh, crashing myself. So, not a good thing. Don't want to do that at all. But uh, thankfully was able to hold it together and still save our podium. So, we're on the smallest step, but we're on the steps. And I uh, hope you enjoyed watching my first foray into Indy Road Racing. I'd like to do more. That was a lot of fun. Uh, a track that I was familiar with helped me out, helped me learn. And I had a fun race. Very fun to drive. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.